Hello everyone, this is Jackie. Today I'll be reviewing my new favorite lip tints from this brand called Roman. I'll be reviewing two colors from two different series. Um, if you're looking to look at these colors being swatched and worn by someone with um, a medium to tan Asian skin tone, then you've come to the right place. So the two colors that I have um, in the original series, they come in 11 colors and it's just called the Roman Zero Velvet Tint. So these are advertised as um, MLBB, My Lips But Better. Um, it's advertised with matte, as, as a matte lip tint with a blurring effect and a velvet finish for a dreamy look. And it's supposed to have a lightweight texture that feels soft and comfortable and adhered smoothly all day long. Um, so the first shade that I have is called uh, number four Burnt Heart and then the second shade I have is um, from their Vintage, uh, what's it called? Vintage Filter, filter Series um, and uh, this color is called Vintage Taupe. Today for your benefit, I have no makeup on. It's just uh, freshly washed and moisturized. The only thing I have on is uh, my favorite new uh, blusher from the Siam. Um, and I've worn it both on my cheeks and on my eyelids. And it's this lovely uh, peachy orange, perfect for summer look. Um, and that's all the makeup I've ha I have on for your benefit. So you can see the true colors of these lip tints on my skin tone. So the first color that I will swatch on my skin is called Burnt Heart. Um, it is advertised as a unique pink shade for burning hearts alike. Um, so it's like a rosy, it looks like on the screen, it looks like a rosy mauve um, color. So I'll just swatch it here. So it is uh, very much like a mauve color, mauve rose color on my um, skin and it blends and it's super smooth. It feels almost like a lip balm. Um, so I will try it now on my lips. Um, use this mirror here. So I'll just do, I'll do two versions. First one of which I'll just dab a bit on my lips and just smudge it like that. And I'll use. So as you can see, it's very natural. It's like a little bit pinker than my natural lips. Very pretty and you can wear, I would wear the shade in the daytime or in the nighttime. So that is the uh, Roman Zero Velvet Tint in Burnt Heart. Burnt Heart, it's a number four shade. And um, this is me not really filling in um, my lips at all. It looks very natural and it uh, gives you an idea of exactly what it would look like when um, I might have been drinking or eating a little bit. So now what I'll do is I'll fill up my lips to see what it looks like with like a second layer. So, Fill in my cupid's bow. It's a bit harder to get even because it's still a new tube, so it deposits a lot of product, if you can see right there. Just a bit too much for me. So this is what it looks like. More filled in. And you can see it's like a darker red now. 
um, which is still very, very pretty and uh, very wearable um, for an evening look, especially. So there you have it. Oh, and um, I would love to tell you, when I first wore this for the first time, I was just so surprised with how it feels. When I blend it on my lips like this, it just feels like a, a lip balm and a really buttery, nourishing lip balm. And it does live up to its um, advertising. It does say blurring effect. And you can see that it really fills in the gaps um, of of my lips. So if you have dry lips, this uh, this is a really good product uh, pro uh, for for coloring your lips. Um, and what I love doing with this extra bit of color is uh, sometimes I could dab it on my cheeks for that extra color, as you can see now, and then just blend it in. So it kind of gives you that extra color that matches your, your, your lips and, you know, brings your entire look together. And so I really, really love um, the texture of this. So I've cleaned that first color off now and I will be swatching this second color which is from their vintage series, vintage filter series. And this one has got a different packaging color in terms of it's um, got this kind of like texture on the packaging, which, um, and then this lettering makes it look a little bit more vintage. So I find it quite cute that they've distingu distingu distinguished this series from this series. So um, to start, I will swatch like I did the last one. And um, I will just uh, swatch right next to the last one. So you can see the color is a lot darker. Um, the previous one is definitely more of a rosy color, uh, a muted rose color. And this one is more of a, um, I guess, burnt orange color, brick kind of like a brick color. Let me just look up quickly what color they actually describe it as. This is number 23, Vintage Taupe. Yeah, they don't really describe it in other words, I think. Um, but yeah, this is the color. And if I, um, I'll use a different finger. If I blend it in like that last color, let me see what it looks like when it's faded. So um, it's definitely a deeper, more whiny color. Um, so now I will do the same for my lips. I will do a, a dab of a first layer. Use my little handy mirror here. I'll just dab. To the center of my lips. Let's smudge it around. So this is one um, very light layer just to get the tint. And you can see uh, it's definitely a darker layer. So this almost looks like um, what that first color looked like with two layers on, um, but it's a little bit more muted, less red, um, more plum, I would say. Still a very pretty color. And I would say more of an autumn, um, autumn winter color, but still a color that I would wear every day because um, this just suits my skin tone and it's definitely <laughs> a my lips but better look. So now I'll go in with a second layer with the same wand and I'll fill in um,
again because it's a new tube so it deposits quite a lot of product there there you have it this is the look oh it's a very very deep dark look um almost a little bit too much for me but if uh, i guess if you're going for that uh vampy look this would be a really good color to use and again it's the exact same texture as the original series very soft uh, it's got almost like that, yeah, again, very buttery, almost like an oily feeling. And it just blurs your lips. You can hardly see my lines. Um, not that I have very dry lips to begin with, but it almost disappears. Any, any inkling of any um, lines at all. So yeah, this is a really good... Um, color um, and I love their textures but the question is do they last all day and um, with that said in mind I have delivery uh, for dinner sitting just right here it just arrived two minutes ago so I will go and have my dinner and show you my lips after oh and just in case any of you are wondering uh, what I'll be eating. I have two fish tacos in here. Guaranteed to be quite sloppy. And I've also just gave um, a first dab uh, of that last colour off my lips before I eat. So, bon appetit! Drum roll! How did my lips perform after food? So, as you can see, it has fade around the middle bottom lip where that's usually the case for lip color because that's where your food goes in and out most. Um, so it is a fact that these colors, these shades don't uh, last very long on your lips. Um, they do transfer. So if you're wearing white, um, or yeah, you have to be careful with your clothes. If you're wearing a mask, it does transfer, so throughout the day it will wear out. Um, and I've worn these uh, for a whole day. And, uh, you know, if you've done two layers, um, it will go back to the one layer color. And then um, it would be lighter around the middle of the lip. And then, um, but the, at the very end of the day, if I don't reapply, it comes out in a very funny... Um, a really funny thing happens where um, literally all the color has faded but at the very edge of your lips um, that could just be my lips because my lips are pretty full um, so maybe that's just the part that my lips never touch um, yeah my tongue never touch when I you know lick my lips um, so that's the place where it the color stays on so it looks like at the end of the day I have a lip liner around my lips um, you can almost see that happening in the bottom lip now. So yeah, the the color does fade. But that is all forgiven because of um, the lovely texture and the lovely color of this formula. Um, I haven't used another lip tint or lipstick or any lip color that really felt this good. Um, and I do like that... Um, it layers and that you can wear it two ways um, so and also you know when it fades it does still leave a little bit of a tint behind so um, just an overall really good uh, um, brand and really good product for those of you wondering how much this is um, it retails for about 20 US dollars each and I actually got them um, just under eight dollars because they were sixty percent off, and as of right now, um, on Yes Style, I will leave a link below. Um, the original series, which is not the vintage series, but the original series where they have eleven colors, is currently running sixty percent off. So you can get this for just under eight dollars, US dollars. 
um, which is a steel. Um, and uh, because these these formulas spread um, over your lips so easily because of their smoothness and velvetiness, a little does go a long way. Um, even though you, even if you wear it every day and you have to reapply during the day, I do see myself. Uh, I do see. I do see these lasting a very, very long time. So I am very excited about having these and. Um, if you like my review, please support my channel by using my affiliate links below. Um, I will get a few, uh, commission um, if you do shop with my link on YesStyle. But if you're a first time user, you would get a 5% off from the website. And then if you um, shop again, you will still get a 2% off for future orders. So do use my links below if you like my review and you would like to try these. And if you are looking for other shades that you would like me to swatch because you think you have the same skin tone and um, same skin color as I, I do, um, please also comment in the box below. Um, I'm always looking for new products to try. And uh, thank you again for staying with uh, till the end of my video. Hope you have a great day.